Hong Kong International Airport, ADA, HKG, ICAO, Fache, is an international airport on the island of Chek Lap Kok in Western Hong Kong. The airport is also referred to as Chek Lap Kok International Airport or Chek Lap Kok Airport to distinguish it from its predecessor. The former Kai Tak Airport opened in 1998. Hong Kong International Airport is the world's busiest cargo gateway and one of the world's busiest passenger airports. It is also home to one of the world's largest passenger terminal buildings, which was the largest when the airport opened. The airport is operated by Airport Authority Hong Kong, AAHK, a statutory body of the Hong Kong government established on 1st December 1995. It runs 24 hours a day and is the primary hub for Cathay Pacific, Greater Bay Airlines, Hong Kong Airlines, HK Express, an Air Hong Kong cargo carrier. The airport is one of the hubs of One World and is also one of the Asia Pacific cargo hubs for UPS Airlines. It is a focus city for China. Airlines in China, Eastern Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines utilizes Hong Kong as a stopover point for their flights. Hong Kong International Airport, which employed about 60,000 people. At the start of 2024, is an important contributor to Hong Kong's economy. The economic contribution generated by Hong Kong's air travel industry in 2018 amounted to $33 billion, Tin Tawasen, of Hong Kong's GDP. More than 100 airlines operate flights from the airport to over 180 cities across the globe. In 2015, HKIA handled 68.5 million passengers, 4. Making it the 8th busiest airport worldwide by passenger traffic and the 4th busiest airport worldwide by international passenger traffic. Since 2010, it has also surpassed Memphis International Airport to become the world's busiest airport by cargo traffic. Except in 2020, due to disruptions related to the COVID-19 pandemic.
Chek Lap Kok Airport was designed as a replacement for the former. Hong Kong International Airport, commonly known as Kai Tak Airport, built in 1925, located in the densely built up at Kowloon City District, with a single runway extending into Kowloon Bay. Hong Kong Airport had turned on the runway lights for expansion to cope with steadily increasing air traffic. By the 1990s, Kai Tak had become one of the world's busiest airports. It far exceeded its annual passenger and cargo, design capacities, and one out of every three flights experienced delays, largely due to a lack of space for aircraft, gates, and a second runway. In addition, noise mitigation measures restricted nighttime flights as severe noise pollution exceeding 105 dBA in Kowloon City adversely affected an estimated 340,000 people at least. A Milnet in Sithenikwatra, planning study by the Civil Aviation and Public Works. Departments identified the small island of Chek Lap Kok off Lantau Island as a possible future airport replacement site. Far from the congested city centre, flight paths would be rooted over the South China. Sea rather than populous urban areas, enabling efficient round-the-clock operation of multiple runways. The Czech Lapcock CLK, airport master plan and civil engineering studies were completed between 1982 and 1983, respectively. In February 1983, however, the government shelved the project for financial and economic reasons. In 1988, the Port and Airport Development Strategy PADS study was undertaken by consultants headed by Mott McDonald Hong Kong Limited, reporting in December 1989. This study looked at forecasts for both airport and port traffic to the year 2011 and came up with three recommended strategies for overall strategic development. In Hong Kong, one of the three assumed maintaining the existing airport at Kai Tak, a second assumed a possible airport in the western harbour between Lantau Island and Hong Kong Island, and the third assumed a new airport at Chek Lap Kok. The consultants produced detailed analysis for each scenario, enabling the government to consider these appraisals for each of the three recommended strategies. In October 1989, the Governor of Hong Kong announced to the Legislative Council that a decision had been made on the territory's long-term port and air development strategy. The strategy to be adopted was that which included a replacement airport at Chek Lap Kok and incorporating new container terminals, eight and nine at Stonecutters, island and east of the island of Sing Yi, respectively, in the PAD study. The consultants advised that the earliest the airport could be opened was January 1998. However, in reaching the government's decision, this date was modified to January 1997, six months before the handover of Hong Kong to China. <laughs> Thank you. 
The boarding gate not show up. The web, the boarding gate not show up because maybe too early, right? Me too. Maybe too early. Ah, nagoya ng alang ako pero wala pa rin boarding gate. Kanino pa ako kaya? Ka, kahapon na ako na iwan ni kaya nga agak mo yun. Na iwan ako. Bumili pa ako ba? One thirty P R three one nine. The boarding gate not show up. The web, the boarding gate not show up because maybe too early, right? Me too. Maybe too early. Ah, nagoya ng alang ako pero wala pa rin boarding gate. Kanino pa ako kaya? Ka kahapon na ako na iwan ni kaya nga agak mo yun. Na iwan ako. Bumili pa ako ng bagong ticket. Ha? Ano yan? Ano pag ano yan? Kagawin ako. Mahina pag wala pa sila inisyo na boarding gate. Kasi ang dami, ang layo oh. Oh. Ano nga nasa kanya mo, Ah, uh, ano ko? Ah, uh, Hong Kong Express ako. Ah, kanina pa ako, nakapagpag na kaya. May mga... Ayun ko na, nagwili lang ang tubig yan. Baka malate ako pa ako, kaya di ako maglayo. Oo, oh, mahirap. Mas mahirap pag nalate kasi ako bumila ang bagong ticket eh. Ay, kahit saan ba? Doon, doon. Kasi doon din lahat, ay hindi, ano yung tubig na? Ba't pa ganun siya? Oo nga eh. Bakit pa ganun siya? Ang hirap ng 2-1, baka bababa ang 2-1 sa taas ang... 1 to 36 sa taas ang 2-0-1 sa baba siguro. Ako rin eh. Kaya lang mo. This study looked at forecasts for both airport and port. Traffic to the year 2011 and came up with three recommended strategies for 
Overall strategic development in Hong Kong, one of the three assumed maintaining the existing airport at Kai Tak, a second assumed a possible airport in the western harbour between Lantau Island and Hong Kong Island, and the third assumed a new airport at Chek Lap Kok. The consultants produced detailed analysis for each scenario enabling the government to consider these appraisals for each of the three recommended strategies. In October 1989, the governor of Hong Kong announced to the Legislative Council that a decision had been made on the territory's long-term port and airport. Development strategy. The strategy to be adopted was that which included a replacement airport at Chek Lap Kok and incorporating new container terminals eight and nine at Stonecutters, island and east of the island of Singyi, respectively. In the PAD study, the consultants advised that the earliest the airport could be opened was January 1998. However, in reaching the government's decision, this date was modified to January 1997, six months before the... On 31st July 2000, Todd Selimuchai, a regularized illegal immigrant in Hong Kong with no provable nationality, forced his way through a security checkpoint using a fake pistol, took a woman hostage and boarded a Cathay Pacific aircraft. He demanded to be flown to Burma, which he claimed was his native country, but had refused to admit him due to his lack of documents. He surrendered to the police two and a half hours later officially opened in June 2007, the second airport terminal, the called T2, check-in facility only, is linked with the MTR Airport Express on a new platform. The terminal also features a new shopping mall, Sky Plaza, providing a large variety of shops and restaurants, together with a few entertainment facilities. T2 also houses a 36-bay coach station for buses to and from mainland, China and 56, airline check-in counters, as well as customs and immigration facilities. Besides T2, the Sky City Nine Eagles Golf course was opened in 2007, whereas the second airport hotel, the Hong Kong Sky City Marriott Hotel, and a permanent cross-boundary ferry terminal, the Skypier, began operations in 2008 